Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. So, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Sagittarius, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Sagittarius, if you're celebrating a birthday, uh, happy birthday to you. I already got your cards out here, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, don't be mad at me because I made you go last. I was saving the best for last because it's your birthday season. Yay. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. You have the Ace of Swords here, the Empress, the Seven of Wands. Okay. So the Ace of Swords in this deck talks about victory, uh, and the Empress talks about abundance and Seven of Wands challenges. So I feel like if you've been facing some challenges, you're going to get the information that you need to have some sort of victory in December, which who doesn't like that, especially in your birth month. Um, but it also talks about um, gaining clarity over a situation, letting law of attraction work for you, uh, gaining clarity over the fact that um, challenges are nothing but an opportunity to motivate us, to push us forward, to push us faster. And I feel like Sagittarius, let that energy rev you up, okay? Because then you go into the 10th house of reputation, which is all about achievements. It's about competencies. It's about your career. It's about authority figures um, and building that empire. And I feel like uh, that's the empire state of mind, right, that you're going to be in Sagittarius. I love, love this for you to get you started. So let's see what else can Sagittarius expect. So you have the Two of Swords here. Now, in the depiction of this Two of Swords, it is uh, literally scissors. So, and then the Ace of Swords here. So I feel like you're definitely in this energy where you will cut off anything or anybody that's going to challenge you during this time frame, okay? Especially if someone you felt has taken you for granted or walks over you. I feel like you will not be paying that mind during this time, I feel like you'll have, uh, you're going to be victorious in coming out of this five of pentacles, which is like this broke type of energy. Some of you literally broke for others of you. It's just like this walked over, looked over type of energy. And, um, I feel like, you know, you're going to be cutting through that during this time frame, And then you go to the fool, which is kind of like ready for whatever. You know, I'm ready for whatever. I'm ready for my new beginnings. I'm ready for my birthday. I'm ready for celebrations. You know, whatever it is. Um, I think you're going into a more of an adventurous type of vibe in, towards December, mid-December. You know, but don't be naive, okay? And make sure you have all of the pieces of the puzzle before you jump forward, Sagittarius, because here's the Four of Pentacles. And you can see here, you know, it's a picture of a bank. So make sure you have your money in order, okay? Because I'm getting some money messages here. Um, I feel like uh, if you're having challenges here, you will overcome that during December or at least have enough you know, to take it to the bank. You know what I'm saying? I, um, For others of you, it's a need to hold on or save your time and your energy um, because you're going to need it in, in December. Um, and then the sun card here. So this is uh, kind of like a youthful, optimistic type of energy. It's so interesting because one side, I feel like there's two... There's two sides of you going on in December, Sagittarius. There's one side of you that's like ready for new, ready for adventures, happy, finding good in things, finding good in people. Uh, and then there's this other part of you that I think you keep to yourself, you know, that that's the likes to isolate or be alone and kind of like picks through old memories of things that you have yet to let go of. And I see that it can be a challenge to you actually bringing abundance towards you uh, because of that energy. You know what I'm saying? Like it kind of blocks you. Um, yeah. So then you go into the Ten of Pentacles here. And then the Queen of Wands. Let me tell you what. You know, for those of you who have been struggling with finances, I feel like things are going to build up in December. Or maybe you have a fear there. Like, I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is having exactly what you need. So, 
I think if there's some challenges or woes there, you will have what you need at the end of the day. Some of you are literally building up your finances and building into wealth um, during this time frame. So it's going to be different for each of you. Um, but the energy here is, and it doesn't have to be related to money. It's just feeling like you're in the right place at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Like feeling that it's a, a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? And then here, are, here you are, the Queen of Wands in the upright, having surprises, but good surprises in December, I feel. And as I say surprises, here's the tower. <laughs> so I feel like there might be some very happy surprises come in December. Um, but I also feel like there's a sense of disorganization here. So some of y'all need to get your house in order or your finances in order or your, your brain in order. I don't know, because you are this way, then 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 this way. It's no wonder you started off with your crowning energy, the two of swords. <laughs> you might be being pulled in two different directions or emotionally you're here and then you're there and then you're here and then you're there. And it's, it's kind of dis concerning you know so I feel like there will be some unexpected things happen in December but I feel they're good uh good things you know um so I feel like yeah there's a caution here about again not getting caught in what you don't have versus what you have not getting disillusioned or it's it's almost like there's so many things going on, Sagittarius, both that are happy surprises. Some of them are, you know, like, um, I don't want to say not happy because I feel like there's a lot of great things going on around you, but you can kind of rain on your own parade mentally whenever you want. And I feel like a part of you is going to want to be drawn to do that. You know what I'm saying? Drawn to... Focus, still yet focus on what, like, there might be just this one thing that you don't have. And that's where your, all of your mind wants to go to. And it, and it pulls you away or it confuses the energy. And it might be something that you're obsessing over that, yeah, you're passionate over, but it's also somewhat toxic because it pulls you away from the present moment. Something like that, okay? So that's a caution for December. And I think you want to free yourself from that energy, right? And that may be really challenging. It, it's, it can be, uh, you know, most of the battles we fight are in here. Think about it. But I feel like you do want to free yourself from that energy or you'll be victorious in freeing yourself from that in December. So, Sagittarius, let's see who uh, the person you're dealing with is. For my Sagittarius. Okay, great. Seven of Swords. It actually came out in the reverse, and I was being sarcastic. Um, you could be dealing with a very sarcastic person. <laughs> I'm not really sure where that came from. If there's been deceit going on with the person you're dealing with, it's coming out. More than likely, if this person's been kind of hiding behind the scenes, they're going to make themselves known uh, pretty soon. Okay. Uh, if they've been hiding thoughts from you or, um, holy cow. Okay, so as soon as I started the reading, I had the song by the Ambassadors, Unsteady. And it came out in a few other readings. And I don't remember which zodiac signs they were. I know one was Scorpio, and then there was another one. Maybe Cancer. I didn't say it earlier because I didn't feel it was pertaining to you. But now that I have the person you're dealing with's energy out, it pertains to them. And it's unsteady. And the lyrics are, um, hold, hold on to me, cause I'm a little unsteady. Okay. So... Let me show you why I say that. And it doesn't have to be one of those zodiac signs. You could be dealing with any zodiac sign. They had the seven of swords in the reverse, then the ten of swords, then the queen of cups in the reverse, then the page of swords in the reverse, then the two of swords in reverse. Okay, I have all of my cards are upright. 
I always do all my cards upright. So this is the most reversals I've gotten in a long time. And then the five of pentacles. Holy crap. You know what you may find out about this person is that they're still holding on to hurt. A lot of it. They're emotionally unbalanced. You know, they may have been hiding that, but I feel like it's going to be coming out, you know, point blank period. And with the page of swords here, it's like this person has trust issues times a million in the reverse. I actually don't think that there's a better version of the page of swords. Upright, it's kind of a, an untrusting kind of watch from afar, lying, deceptive energy. In the um, reverse, it could be a worsening of that and or all of that coming out because emotionally they cannot hold it in. And so there might be a little bit of an emotional explosion here. And that could be one of the things that's tempting you to go backwards because uh, I felt that you were split. It's like if you entertain this, I feel like you'll go into that spot that I told you about earlier where you're discombobulated you know kind of going into the negative holding on to old things and feeling walked over if you choose to go out of that energy and not entertain this person then I feel like there's a freeing of that and victory there so I'm telling you this is a person to be cautious of it's the holiday season it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be an intimate partner it could be an ex, anyone. Lots of things resurface during the holidays, am I right? <laughs> um, I feel like this person feels or has a very strong spiritual connection with you here with the lovers. But <clears throat> they're also in a lack mentality. And, if, and they may be very challenging for you. Uh, because because of you feel a strong connection or because you have past history with this person, because you've known each other a long time, maybe. Um, and I feel like if they've been, this person has, some of you might have children with this person. But it's like they, they have isolated or they've held it in and then here it is, you know. And the reason is they're tired of feeling left out or they're tired of feeling alone and they want to feel that connection and they want that past history and they want to be open with you. But the thing is, you know, they have a lot of heaviness and they're still holding on to old issues, old grudges you know, still holding on to old habits. So the energy of this person hasn't changed. What they're showing you is going to change, but the true essence hasn't. And they're searching for emotional satisfaction, I feel, in anything outside of them. They're like sleepwalking. Like they're just trying to latch on and feel something, you know, or... Like they see you doing good maybe and so they just want to touch that and may maybe then they'll feel that and they don't understand that that happiness is to come from within themselves and it doesn't come from other things or other people or uh, substances or, uh, you know, career, things like that. It has to come... Um, from inside of them and they're in the process of learning that Sagittarius but they haven't connected all of the dots yet um, because there's still a little bit left in the dark here and that's something that that's a challenge that this person is going through and that they need to let go of but they're not willing to let go of that but yet they want to open themselves up emotionally to you so that would be like an energy vampire your cross watcher is going to hate me sorry um, but it's like, it would, it sucks the life out of you when you open up to this person because they just take what you have to offer and they just, you know, latch onto it. And uh, certainly you have free will. So you have a choice here, uh, on whether or not to do that. But I feel that it will leave you feeling drained and confused versus liberated so 
it's not that we don't give grace to those who are going through things, but you also want to protect your own energy as well. And I think that's going to be really important. Okay. Um, the person you might be dealing with a lot of blue most definitely could be uh, a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces because Scorpio and Cancer also had that come up in their readings. But I also have Gemini here. Um, Aries, Leo, could be another Sag, it could be a Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Taurus. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please check out um, my other YouTube, Dana, Dana, <laughs> Tarot Talks with Dana. Uh, click on that link below. You can now become a member and click join to get extra readings, live chats with me behind the scenes. Uh, so check that out. Also check out my merchandise as well as my Facebook and Instagram, all linked for your pleasure below. Uh, wishing you the very best in December. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.